South Alabama heads to New Orleans. They're going to take on Tulane Saturday, 7 p.m. on ESPNU, 7 p.m. Central, God's time zone. <laughs> South Alabama quarterback Carter Bradley against Michael Pratt. I'm excited about that quarterback matchup. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, pull it up on the screen here so you can see what we're looking at. And this number surprised me. Absolutely surprised me. I, it, so Tulane's favored by six and a half. And my number is way off. And I have gone back and forth on which way I would lean on this. Tulane is eight and three against the spread as a home favorite the last two years. South Alabama last year, uh, two and zero oh as a dog in 2022. Uh, they are, they're, excuse me, they were four and two against the spread on the road. Uh, look, team talent actually favors uh, South Alabama a little bit. Uh, so this number that I've got is before all the transfers and whatnot were tallied up. Uh, the team talent composite over at 247, that came out and South Alabama was number 80 and Tulane was number 81. Now, this, the one that I've got is the overall 247 talent. It's the average star rating of the players on the team. So Tulane has done a better job. They've got less guys. So South Alabama has a full... You get the point. You get the point. But either way, I what, it, what ultimately led me to taking Tulane here is not just because my number is so much bigger here. I mean, it, you see it on the screen. I've got Tulane minus 12.7 uh, in this one. Um, Tulane defensive coordinator uh, Shile Wood. I hope I said that right. Shile Wood. You guys correct it for me. Tell me. Uh, how do you pronounce the defensive coordinator's name, or coordinator's name? He was the D.C. at Troy last year. I'm sure some of you remember what Troy did to South Alabama. 10-6. to six. Uh, They completely shut down that South Alabama offense. Now, do I think that they'll hold them to six points here? Probably not. Uh, the other side of this, if you're wanting to take South Alabama, you might could talk yourself into the fact that this is a look-ahead spot for Tulane because they're hosting Ole Miss next week in New Orleans. I still, game one, you're going to come up fired up. I'm, I'm going to take Tulane. I'm going to take Tulane to cover the six and a half. Uh, I don't feel great about it. I love both of these teams. South Alabama is my pick to win the Sun Belt this year, but tough road opener. Tough road opener on that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.